Well, good Monday morning, everyone. We come back together this morning uh, for scripture reading and prayer. We pick back up, of course, on this wonderful Monday morning, Psalm 23, a Psalm of David. I'm going to read what we have gone through already and then pick up with our verse for today. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. And then Friday we looked at verse 5c, my cup overflows. This morning we look at 6a, surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. So I'd like to read it again with some more emphasis and a few more words for clarity added. Our trusted Lord, our loving and caring shepherd in whom we have full confidence, surely, certainly, completely, your goodness, your benefits, your betterment, your favor and love, your kindness, mercy, devotion will follow me, will chase after me, will pursue me all the days of my life, continually, all throughout my life. Well, reflecting back, on verse 6a, what will follow the great shepherd's sheep all the days, continually, all throughout their lives? What? What will? Well, goodness and love. But this is not just any old goodness. It's not just any old love. It's the shepherd's goodness. It's the shepherd's love. Jesus, the great shepherd, provided and provides for all his sheep's needs, regardless. Regardless. I'd like to leave you with this text, Romans 8, 35 through 38, as an added bonus as a reflection on the goodness and love of the shepherd. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean He no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or are hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? All the scriptures say, for your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loves us. And I'm convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed to us through Christ Jesus our Lord. No matter what. No matter what we're going through or what we will go through in this life. No matter the goodness and the love of the great shepherd is lavished on us. We lack nothing. We lack nothing. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the beauty of this text today, the simplicity of this text. Thank you for driving it home in our hearts and our thinking uh, the fact that your goodness, your love is truly lavished on us every day. When we wake up, we are refreshed. We are new to begin a new day in you a day filled with goodness, a day filled with love. Nothing can separate us from any of that. Thank you for loving us so much. Thank you, Father. We love you. We praise you, exalt, magnify your holy name. Use us today to show someone else your goodness. Use us today to show your love. 
will be very careful to give you all praise and glory for it. In Jesus' name we pray together. Amen. Well, I hope that you guys and gals are already um, prepared for the possible hurricanes that are coming uh, to back to back. Um, I just pray and ask that you join me in prayer for safety of all involved. Uh, of course, the families that will be flooded, uh, be, be um, affected by the floods and all those that will be working uh, to, to help the electric, the electric company, uh, all, all the different entities that will be trying to assist FEMA, um, other agencies trying to, to step in and fill some gaps. Just pray for everyone's safety. It's already been a very dangerous storm. Um, several people have lost their lives already in other countries because of it. So we want to remember them as well. Um, and just to keep each other in prayers. If you need anything, uh, truly, uh, that's, that's not an emergency type situation. You can for sure reach out to your deacon. Uh, you can reach out to me, uh, either through calls or, or a text. And if I can't help you specifically, then I'll try to help you network to see how we might can meet your needs. So please don't hesitate. You know I love you. And that means, and what's involved in that love is help taking care of you. And I'll be happy to do that. If I can't, I'll find someone who can. Let's just work together through this as a support and encouragement to one another. Well, I love y'all. Y'all have a, a good day.